So you're in the market for an action cam. What do you go for? GoPro, DJI Osmo, whatever they're called, or Sony? Well, today we're gonna to have a look at the Sony FDR X3000. I have also got the FDR X1000. Uh, the difference between the two, not a lot in the way of sensors. I think the, uh, the 3000 has got optical stabilization as well as electronic stabilization. The 1000 is just electronic stabilization. Uh, the menu system on the 3000 is a little bit easier to use, whereas on the 1000, 3000, 1000. But on the 1000, the, the menu system's a little bit awkward. You've got to go backwards and forwards and mess about. This one, you can uh, bring up the menu, scroll through it, change settings. Uh, they're both shooting 4K, uh, 100 megabits a second, I believe. I normally shoot in 25 frames. A second because this big camera that I use I've got set for 25 sec uh, 25 frames a second so these are the same obviously these don't have picture profiles or anything like that whereas this camera I normally shoot in HLG but I could normally get them to match the footage from the main camera quite easily but we're going to focus on this one the X3000 um, I'll put this one to one side I will show you footage from the, uh, the 1000 uh, I'll do a side by side thing with these um, and you can see what they're like. So basically, memory card goes in the bottom. Voila. Now you will need to use a special memory card for this because shooting in 4K, uh, it won't accept. In this one, I've got a SanDisk Extreme Pro 64 gig U3. Don't suppose you're gonna be able to see that. Anyway, check out the specs if you're gonna buy one of these. So it just pops back in there, pushes back in, you can close the cover. So in the back, we've got another door. We've got uh, audio input, three and a half mil jack. We'll get back to that in a minute. <laughs> got the charging USB and we've got HDMI out, which is very good. Uh, audio input. I've tried um, with my Sennheiser um, lavalier mic. It's far too hot. Even turning the uh, turning it down on the um, on the wireless unit, I've turned it down as low as I can. It's still really really hot, um, and it sounds awful. Basically, um, I did see someone on on YouTube had a solution. They had a um, a jack that plugged in it was on a wire and there was like a, a level adjuster in the in line uh, and then they plugged their microphone into that that could work um, but I do most of my main audio on the the main camera which is XLR pro audio so that's I don't normally rely on the audio for the action cams but it has got the input some people have plugged Rode mics in I've never tried it so I don't know so I can't comment on that anyway that's that on the front here, on the front here, we've got uh, the internal microphone. Um, the internal microphone on it is really good, apart from if it's windy. It picks up really bad, the wind noise. Um, I've seen people put like a little muff over there. I've yet to get one. Um, Something I could look into, because it does ruin, if this is gonna be like your main camera for vlogging or something like that, wind noise is terrible. You can't, once, you, once you've recorded wind noise, you, you've really got a job to get rid of it. So the best thing is to not record it in the first place. So a little stick on muff over that would be fantastic. Um, I might look into that at some point. Um, on here, push that slide down. We can open this door. In there, we have the battery. Um, I've tried third party batteries and they don't last shockingly bad. Um, so I've just stuck with the Sony battery. Um, and it lasts, it, you, I'll get like an hour out of it from shooting on 4K. Um, so the menu system's quite easy to use. You can change the, uh, you can change it to wide, normal or narrow. 
Uh, there's two color modes, you've got vivid or natural. Now this 3000 comes with a waterproof housing. The actual body is splash proof, but it's not waterproof. Like GoPros, I think you can just take them in the water, no problem at all. This one, you can't do that. So it comes with this waterproof housing. It's quite straightforward. Um, just slide that back, open it up. Slide it in there. Close it back up, and that's it. Now that is waterproof up to 60 meters. So that's quite deep. Um, all the buttons are accessible on the top and on the side, and you can easily see through for changing your menu. Um, so that's pretty good. Now, with the X1000, I don't know. Ah, the X1000 is splash proof also, but not waterproof. So that comes with a case. If I remember how to open it. Pops in there. Goes on there like that. And it's pretty much the same. You've got all your buttons, so stop, start, hold, uh, and the buttons on the side for doing your, going through your menus. Uh, that is waterproof to 10 meters. So if you're gonna go deep, you'd be better off with the X3000. Um, I don't think I've tried any of these in the water. I've tried action cams in the swimming pools and stuff like that, but I've not actually used these in the water. We haven't got any water here for me to try it, so you'll have to check out other reviews for that. Um, but the X3000, waterproof to 60 meters. Uh, and I, I don't know, I think there is an underwater setting for it. You can't change the white balance, but I think you can set it for underwater. Um, I've not shot underwater with it, so I don't really know. And I'm not gonna go looking it up. You can do that yourselves if you're interested. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these both rigged up to my wheelchair. Uh, I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna try it in 4K on both of them. Uh, we'll try it in 1080. You can also do slow motion. Now I shoot in PAL, not NTSC. Uh, so we can get 100 fr 25 frames a second or 100 frames a second. I think you can do 30 as well. Um, I think if you're shooting NTSC, you can get 24, 30, and 120 frames a second. So, you know, 100 frames is good enough for me for slow mo. So, we'll do that. We'll go, we'll change the, um, we'll go for both color profiles, the vivid and the natural. And we'll go through some other settings. I'll show you on the screen what the settings are and uh, what it looks like. Now I have seen somebody review these cameras and they put it up against the GoPro Hero 8, Hero 7 and the DJI Osmo. I was watching some videos the other night on it and um, I think the Sony still holds up quite well. Uh, I don't know how it compares in price. Um, they, they weren't cheap, I will say that. I mean, I've had this for a couple of years. I've probably had that the yeah, 1000. I've probably had that one a little bit longer, the 1000, that's the first one we bought. Um, we did buy some really cheap action cams, which were obviously Chinese rubbish. Uh, and we just said, look, stop wasting our money on crap, buy something decent. So we bought this one and that's been pretty good. And then there was an occasion where I was using this, what I could have done with a second one. So we've got the second one. So what I normally do now is have that as like the action cam. And I've set this one up to do time lapses. Um, so we'll get out, get grab a bit of footage outside. I'll change all the settings and bits and pieces and uh, we'll see how it goes. I shall be right back with you.
So just see if you can use this as a vlogging camera. Internal audio, so it could be picking up wind noise. I haven't got a wind muff on it. So we're now shooting in HD. A lot of those clips are in HD. The first one I did in 4K. Now on the X1000, you can't have image stabilization with the 4K. Uh, but it comes on when you goes back to HD. Now, I think the X3000, it, you can have image stabilization. Um, so we had it set to standard and then set, I think it's on action now, <laughs> and it's starting to rain. But at the moment we're shooting in HD, 25 frames a second, uh, which is 50 megabits. Uh, and I'm sh I've changed the color to vivid. It was on natural, it, we're in vivid. The last couple of clips have been vivid on both cameras. Uh, so just seeing if the footage is going to be any good for, for vlogging. I and mean, it's a nice little compact camera. If you've got it on a little stick, it'd be ideal. If you can get some audio into it or record your audio elsewhere on your phone or something like that, it is a cracking camera, really. Um, I think it's still relevant in 2020. In my right hand we've got the X3000, in my left hand we've got the X1000. This is set to widest on the X3000 and that's set to widest, that's 170 degrees on the X1000. So now I'm going to change it, I think that one's still set to action so I'm going to put that back to standard and then we'll go for the, the medium width and the 120 degrees on that one. So here we are again, X3000 in right hand. X1000 in the left hand, the X1000 is on 120 degrees of view, the X3000 is now on medium, because uh, you've got wide, medium and narrow, uh, we're bo both of them are shooting HD, both of them 25 frames a second at 50 megabits a second, uh, the colour is back to natural, so I can't go any further with the X1000, but on the X3000 I can go to narrow, so we'll do that now. So I've got the X3000 in my right hand, the X1000 here, because it doesn't go any uh, narrower. Um, this is the narrow depth of, uh, not depth of field, but narrow field of view on the X3000, so you can get really close. We're on internal audio, uh, so we'll see what it looks like on the computer. So there we have it, the Sony FDR X3000 and the FDR X1000. Um, fantastic action cameras stabilization's good uh, the image is good what more could you want now i've got dogs interfering what do you want i wasn't asking you anyway that's the dog's opinion he thinks they're crap but there you go so <laughs> he's packed for more what do you want i'm not asking for your opinion what do you know about cameras he thinks he knows it all. Now what do you know about cameras? Ludo. Wait, up here. Look. What do you know about cameras? Anyway, that's enough input from the dog. He clearly doesn't have a clue what he's talking about. Um, but he's still in here, anyway. So that that is the, uh, the, the Sony Action Cams in the year 2020. I think this one came out in 2016. Uh, from what I can find out online, I've not really done a lot of research on when it was made and what size sensors and stuff. Who cares about all that sort of thing? You want to know what the image looks like. You've seen what it looks like. Make your own mind up. Um, yeah, so I hope you like this video. Please click the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. There will be more reviews coming along uh, as and when we buy new stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, catch you in the next video. Bye for now.